Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World. Sorry about that. And I am Deb Chanel. Okay. Continue to um, continue to keep subscribing to my channel. For those who haven't subscribed yet, think about it. Come on over. What you waiting for? Thank you for the ones that have subscribed. And thank you for sharing and liking my videos. We're going to get into our last and final video for tonight. And um, see what y'all think about it. Honey baby. I tell you, can you more love staying on social media i love for her to stay on social media because half the time she gives me commentary to put out and i like that okay and i like to keep y'all relevant and on your toes about what kenya moore is doing in case you don't get it from anybody else's platform okay but anyway kenya moore is breaking tea on her own self once again evidently it was a car in her neighborhood that slammed into her um mailbox um i think it was yesterday it wasn't it didn't happen today um and she has video footage on her instagram account and i have the same video uh accountants or video footage from what she had shown that was captured on her um what do you call it? her cameras around her home this was actually outside her, her gated community home uh, and she wanted to share with everybody of uh, the disaster uh, footage of someone driving, maybe wasn't paying attention. You know, maybe they dropped their cell phone and they was looking for it, or maybe they were sleeping, or maybe they were high. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm like her. Thank God your protection was placed on baby Brooklyn as well as Kenya Moore and their lives were spared and they had no uh, encounters with that bad accident and prayers go out to the person that was behind the wheel because uh, sometimes medical issues tend to play a part in car accidents as well as people just not paying attention or they under the influence so we don't really know really what happened but like I said, God bless Kenya and her baby girl for not being a part of that horrific accident. And hopefully that person that was driving the car is, uh, they didn't say fatality. So hopefully they're not too banged up or in a critical state of condition. But let's get on into it. Um, page six had it. Um, OK Magazine is where I'm getting it from. And a few other vlogging sites as well as um they call it uh magazine sites had it as well but i guess they're breaking it down accordingly to when they have time to release the story okay but we go on into what okay magazine.com had put out on kenya's moore's footage from a car accident um that she was not a part of but um uh, it actually did some property damage to her mailbox okay um, so we're going to thank Kenya for giving us that footage. And like I said, Kenya wants to stay relevant. So she puts in and everything she deems as something that's going to keep uh, her relevant in social media. Because technically she didn't really have to even put anything out on it. If her neighbors may have reported it or did commentary on it or sold it to the news feed. Excuse me. The news uh sold it to the news entities for them to come out and you know make a story about it and blog about it whatnot but some somehow we got it through vicariously living through kenya uh instagram account okay but it came across my video feed so that's how i got it um but reading the article that okay magazine brought out in their correspondent by the name of dana Heffenden, she wrote up her article on the footage that was shown from Kenya Moore. She titled her article as Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore shares scary footage of her car accident near uh, her home. Now, it's kind of misleading because Kenya was not in the accident. She was nowhere involved. She just had the video fitted footage of the car actually taking down her mailbox. Okay. And killing it on the spot if you must. All right. And I've been showing you through my video clips and footages of the um, car incident 
accident that happened. But again, Kimwa was not involved. She wasn't even home at the time. Her old baby, Brooklyn. Okay, but in the article, it goes on to say, Thank you, God, for your protection, she wrote. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Kenya Moore is counting her blessings on Thursday, December 26th. The reality star shared footage of a scary car accident that occurred near her home. In a post uploaded to Instagram, Kenya 48 re revealed that security cameras outside of her home captured the unfortunate accident in the uh, video. A driver's video, I'm sorry, a driver's video. Oh, excuse me a driver's vehicle crashed into Kenya moore's mailbox which caused the suv to flip upside down uh, at the brooklyn daily and i went to the park and this is what king is saying from her the brooklyn daily uh instagram account she's saying i went to the park and came back to find my cement mailbox on the side of the road she began i searched my cameras and saw this we have speed bumps right outside of uh, my home and after the roof of the car got a uh, woman after cutting the roof of the car off the driver was okay so that's good prayers and uh, blessings go up to that driver as well they didn't say any arrests at um, going middle through this article they didn't say that someone got arrested so maybe it was a medical condition that um had them veer off the road but going back to the article it says she continued just to think yesterday i took her out in her new stroller along my street thank you god for your protection okay after sharing the video with her 1.8 million followers fans shared their happiness regarding kenya and daughter brooklyn's well-being damn prayer says that you weren't out there there's a uh, person commenting to the footage that she put out uh were they drunk one fan question another stated oh my gosh wow really jesus have mercy so glad you all are okay wow a third user wrote um my goodness imagine if you were getting your mail okay and a little horrified type emoji they gave and it says the scary video came out the kenya spent with her estranged husband mark Dale a few days before christmas the former couple pulled the plug on their relationship and will continue to co-parent their 13-month-old daughter. Um, and it's just refurbished or recycled information about, you know, her fighting for her marriage and not giving up and this, that, and the third. But, you know, it is what it is because Mark has to be a willing participant to solidify staying in the relationship. And it doesn't seem from past uh, footages from past video clips from just past articles from blogs he's not 100 percent in it to win it with king boy so he's more like 99.9 percent .9 don't shed the door on the relationship but it is what it is but we're gonna thank Kenya. we're gonna salute her for that little footage of that footage footage that she provided for us through her social media um platform just let us know there was an accident outside her home but she wasn't involved in case i guess the news people got it showed it uh on her street and people you know getting her instagram or her facebook and start asking was that near your home or was that your home were you involved da -da 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 -da. but blessings go upon um baby brooklyn as well as kenya moore for their safety every time they're out there on the road keep them lifted up lord and keep them definitely comforted and in your bosom where they would suffer no harm or danger all right but that's all i have for miss kenya moore showing us that footage of that accident and, and prayers go up again for the uh, person that was in that vehicle and hopefully their health is definitely uh winning all right and it's not impaired in any way because accidents do happen on purpose and some not uh on purpose they just happen that's why we have car insurance at least i hope that person does and they can repair king moore's mailbox okay because it don't seem like it can be resurrected no pun intended but i just thought i'd put that out there but anyway hopefully hopefully you all enjoyed this video thank um continue to like and share my videos thumbs it up uh, and subscribe, 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 okay? But I'll see y'all tomorrow because I have taught myself out, okay? All righty then. So y'all be blessed. Y'all get in them comments. Y'all do what you got to do uh, as far as letting me know what you felt about subject matter, okay? Do you think Kenya Moore should have put this footage out there? Or 
not? That is the question. All right. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.